In today's video, we're going to see if it's possible for us to make fully functional furniture using nothing but spray can expanding foam. Guys, if you're not familiar with this, this is canned expanding foam. You spray out of a little nozzle, it expands, and then it hardens as a foam. And we've done a little bit with this in the past. Today, we've got a new experiment. I wanna see if we can build an entire chair out of just this. No wire framework, nothing else inside, no two by fours. We're not building it on anything except this piece of plastic, and that's just to keep the driveway clean. Here's the basic idea. We're going to try using layer upon layer of canned expanding foam to see if we can build a piece of fully functional furniture, a chair that we can use and sit in and possibly use to float as well. So to get started, pretty basic, I'm just gonna start putting down a layer of the foam and I'm just gonna build up on top of that. I'm gonna give each layer five to 20 minutes to cure at least a little bit so it's strong enough to hold the next layer without collapsing. Uh, to get this to cure faster, the good things are heat, UV light, and actually a little bit of water helps it cure faster. So I'm gonna be putting a layer of this down, I'll splash or spray some water over it and then I'll just let it be out in the warm sun for a bit. Once it's cured enough, I can do another layer. I'm gonna do another layer. I'm gonna just try and build it up. My goal is sort of like an easy chair type of thing. Arm rests, a back rest, but I've never done this before, so let's see how well it works. If you're using this stuff, I cannot recommend the gloves highly enough. They're, <laughs> you really want gloves with this stuff. It gets so sticky and everywhere. All right, I'm gonna just splash a little bit of water on that, let it cure for a bit, and come back for another layer. All right, it's been a few days and we've added a few layers to our chair. Some of it we filmed, some of it we didn't. Uh, you can see the big color difference. Up to here is where I got sort of on the first day and then this spent a day or so just sitting in the sun and this stuff really reacts with UV light and sunlight. It becomes more brittle and obviously a lot darker yellow. Uh, if it stays inside forever, I don't know if it ever actually changes to this color, but this is, like I said, it's had plenty of sunlight. We've kept adding more layers of it. We're gonna keep going, I think, till we're about that high. So we're probably maybe halfway, maybe just over a halfway to the main base of the chair. We're gonna keep doing that, like I said, till it's, well, probably about here, and then we're gonna do a layer that's covering the whole thing that doesn't have these gaps. At that point, we'll start building up, making some arms and a back for the chair. For now, it's just time to keep adding more layers. Something else that's interesting is as it cured, it actually pulled up, it, it constricted a little bit in some parts uh, after several layers, and the corners have now lifted up. So after I have the main body of the chair built, I'm actually gonna go in and sort of add some spray foam feet to just fill in these gaps because the whole thing you can see rocks back and forth quite a bit right now. And while a rocking chair might be a cool project, that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for more of a lazy boy style. I'll try and fix the rocking effect. Okay, we've got a whole lot of layers stacking this chair up. Uh, we're, we're getting to a pretty good height right now. This is fairly comfortable to sit on in terms of height. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one final layer on top of all of this to smooth it all out. I'm gonna fill all of the gaps as best I can. I may actually have to come back and do other little repair spots if it sags too much in some of the holes or something like that. But generally I'm gonna start putting on this whole surface and then it's actually gonna be oriented this direction. Once I've got that surface on, I'm going to start putting on arms and a back. Uh, I don't think I'm necessarily gonna go for full lazy boy up to my head height, but enough that I can at least lean on it a little bit, have my arms just resting on it as well. And so yeah, I'm gonna do this, then start adding just arms and a back to the point where I can sit in it a little bit more comfortably.
Guys, the foam chair, the spray foam chair is complete. This actually took quite a while because there were so many layers to it. Uh, and then once I had like a sturdy base, I had to add the arms and then I had to just add the back. And then I started sitting in it and it didn't quite fit. So I just tried to expand a little bit off the front to give me a little more space. And I am pleased to report that this is a functional chair. Although I'll also admit it's not the best functional chair. It works, I can sit in it. You know, I've had much worse chairs in my life. There are certainly some things I would want to take into consideration for a second attempt if I were to try this again. I would try and find a way to smooth the seat area out a bit more. I think what I would do would be to spray a layer of foam on and then put plastic over it and just smooth it down because it's rather lumpy. You can see that. The spray foam is by nature rather lumpy. So this as a sitting texture, not the worst, also not the best. I made the back a little bit too upright. Perhaps it's even leaning forward, which is not, it's, it's like a reverse recline. It's pushing me out the front of the chair instead of letting me lean back. But, you know, I've got bad posture, so I, that can help, you know, keep me, keep me sitting up straight and shoulders back and all that so I don't just lounge too much. It does tend to rock a little bit. When it first started curing, it constricted in some spots and expanded more in others, and the bottom of it's actually pretty curved to the point that even though I've added the legs, it still has a little bit of rock to it because I'm high centered on the very bottom middle of the chair. Uh, but overall, I made a chair. 100% of this chair is made of spray foam. There's nothing else in it. There's no structure inside of the foam. It's just all spray foam. This took approximately 21 cans, or maybe a third of those were the smaller cans and then the rest were the larger cans. Two of those cans, I only used part of them because they were spraying weird, like they didn't spray out with a consistent pressure. It was just like nothing, 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 full pressure, and I couldn't control where I was putting the foam. So maybe 20 cans worth if every can was working just right. Our chair has been holding up decently in all sorts of conditions. There's one more I want to test. This is expanding foam, which is pretty lightweight. I want to see if this thing will float, and if it does, if I can use it while it's floating. So we've got our hot tub. I'm going to take off my mic and try sitting on the chair in the water. Well, that's it, it floats pretty well. Uh, it's both expanding foam and if you remember that sort of lattice shape I did building it up, there's like a lot of air just trapped in the body of this. I don't know if that's something that makes a whole lot of difference or if it's just that, I think just that the foam floats pretty well. Now let's see if I can get up into the chair without cracking my skull. Well, the chair is floating great, guys. Let me tell you what. Oh no. Making a stable water chair may be a different task than making a functional chair. This is safe. Oh no, chair down. Oh, it's my feet. The feet of my chair didn't want to stay attached. Oh no. Hmm. Nope. Nope. Thought maybe sideways would be more stable. It wasn't. Well, actually it is. Just not enough more stable. Oh, now it's back right side up. Nope. Functional as a chair. Not perfect, but functional. It's pretty lightweight for its size. It's not the most comfortable, but as I think I addressed, a lot of that's my design. You know, this is the first time through. I think if I made the back just a little bit more relaxed, it'd be quite a bit better and a smoother seat. So it's not like a massage chair the whole time on your butt. As a floating chair, it floats wonderfully. You just can't use it as a chair while it's floating. This may be hard for some of you to watch, but I'm going to try and trim it down a bit and see if it makes it any more comfortable. There's the back of my chair. Now it's a footrest. Let's see if this has changed anything. Kind of have some doubts. No, it's about the same. Well guys, building furniture out of expanding foam. This has been a fun experiment. Medium results. I did make a functional chair and it wasn't too bad. 
Guys, we do have quite a bit of expanding foam left, so if there's anything else you'd like to see us try to make with it, let us know down in the comments. We'll be checking those out. That's all for today, but we've always got more for you to see. Click that box up at the top to check out our most recent video, and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.